Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Could IP MAT be the potential option for JE aspirants? Could Indian Institute of Management be the next best option for IITs and NITs? In my opinion, definitely yes. Particularly for those students who have interest in business management and leadership skills, they must explore IP MAT as they are preparing for JE as well. And let us see how. And I would like to cover about IIMs and also why IIMs and then about IPM program and the placement record of those students who pass out from some of the IIMs who do IPM program and also about IP mat, the examination pattern and the selection process and so on. To begin with, let us discuss about IIMs. As we all know, there are about 20 IIMs spread all over the country. Offering two year MBA program for those students who wanted to pursue and acquire the skills in business management and leadership skills. And out of these 20 IIMs, some are very old IIMs known as old IIMs which were started in the year of 1960s and so on. And few are known as new IIMs that were started in the year of 2010 onwards. And there are also handful of baby IIMs that were started later in 2015 and so on. And all of these IIMs offer two year degree program. Why IIMs? In my opinion, candidates aspire to get into IIMs for three important reasons. First and foremost is the brand image. The brand image is such, it's so huge, not only in India, anywhere in the world. As good as the brand IITs. And the next most important thing is their placement record. And if you may look at all these old IIMs which are known as I am Ahmedabad, I am Bangalore and I am Calcutta and so on. They have consistently maintained 100% placement record for the last 20 years. So the placement opportunity. And the third most important point is the salary package. Those candidates who pass out of IIMs draw an average salary of about 35 to 40 lakhs per annum. So huge salary packages. And not only that, if you may look at it, more than 50% of the Indian company CEOs are I am alumni. Also, CEOs of 65% of the multinational companies in India and the non-IT companies are from I am Ahmedabad. So the I am has a reputation of preparing, you know, future leaders. Now let us look at the IPM programs, popularly known as Integrated Program Management. These are nothing but dual degree programs in business management. Students who get into IPM program, they do three year BBA program and two year MBA program. There are about five IIMs that offer integrated program management. Amongst which IIM Indore is very popular. And then comes IIM Rothak and you also have IIM Ranchi and IIM Jammu and IIM Bodh Gaya. All these five IIMs offer five year dual degree programs. Which means students just passing out of their 12th grade, they can yet fancy getting into you know, IIMs and come out with a business management degree. Now let us look at the placement record of these 5 IIMs very quickly. This is IIM Endor and their batch profile is this. More than 100 students pursue dual degree programs. And their placement record is this. About 30 lakh is being their average salary and more than 100 students draw a salary of about 52 lakhs. And let us look at IM Rothak. Uh, Rothak offers 36 lakhs as their highest salary and the average salary being about 18 lakhs. And the top 10% drawing about 34 lakhs. And then the IIM Ranchi. And this is the salary profile of those students pass out of IIM Ranchi. The highest being about 67 lakhs plus and the average is about 17 lakhs. As you may look at it, top 10% draw about 30 lakhs. And then IIM Jammu offers about 16 lakhs or so as an average salary and 64 lakh being their highest salary and top 10% drawing about 32 lakh salary. And then Indian Institute of Management Bodh Gaya offers an average about 16 lakhs salary and the top 25% is about 21 lakhs. And this is a very impressive salary package for those students who pursue five year dual degree programs from any of these IIMs. Now, how to get into these IIMs? As we all know, IP mat is a gateway to get into these IIMs. And to know more about the pattern of IP mat, there are three sections in it. The first section is quantitative ability with MCQ type. And the second section is same again in quantitative ability, but the short answer type. And the third section is verbal ability. 
and now it is hard to give you the number of questions in each section for the simple reason because IP mat is being conducted by all these five IM separately. However, the IP mat that is conducted by IM Indore, the scores are accepted by IM Ranchi. And IM Rothak has its own you know, IP mat. However, IM Jammu and IM Bodh Gaya, they have something called JIP mat, Joint Integrated Program Management Aptitude Test. And now this is being conducted by NDA. I understand the difficulty. This means you have to make multiple registrations and not only registration but also you may have to make you know separate fee for each exams and sometimes potentially there is a date clash. But this is a hassle that you have to overcome. In my opinion for those students who are pursuing JE, the first two sections are relatively not that difficult. That is the quantitative ability of MCQ and quantitative ability of short answers and they may have to pay attention and try and score more mark in verbal ability and particularly for those students who have good background about their language proficiency again this becomes relatively easier how to test your level and fancy your chances of getting into IM in my opinion just go to you know IM Indoor website and there are past year question papers just download maybe 2021 or 2022 question paper and give an attempt and the question paper is for about 400 marks and if you are able to score let's say about 150 to 200 marks which means you are in a striking range and as you know the examination takes place in the month of June which means you have about one one and a half months time from your board examination and hardly you may have to focus a little bit and try and you know orient yourself with this question paper pattern and learn little bit about verbal ability and you can definitely give a chance. In my opinion those students who are preparing for JE could very well give an attempt for IP mat examination. But unlike JE advance where your cutoffs are final credentials to get into IITs here the selection process is slightly different. Once your IP mat score is out the rank list is prepared and depending on the rank they are invited for an interview. This means the second component is your score on your personal interview and the third one is your academic profile means your score during your 10th and 12th grade. Also there is a weightage for female candidates which they call it as gender diversity. So in order to gain entry into IMs it is not just about your score on IP mat also it is about your score on personal interview and weightage on your academic profile during 10th and 12th and as well as there is a weightage on gender diversity. Those students who are already preparing for JE could very well give an attempt on IP mat and see their chances of getting into one of the leading brands of business school in the country that is Indian Institute of Management. Students, I hope this video was useful to you. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much and bye-bye.